Hi guys. So today we're doing a thread on character archetypes you hate. If you have any character archetypes you hate, put them in the comments below when I might make a video about it. Elaborate, but please. As elaborate well. as well. Don't just write down slutty bar equals gay. <laughs> yeah, don't, yeah. <laughs> um, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you at the end of the video. Character archetypes you hate. As per the title, themes, archetypes, concepts or whatever fits under that general umbrella you hate. Someone who doesn't believe in magic or gods in a fantasy world where they definitely exist. Oh, I fucking hate that. Yeah. Oh, it does my dick in. I, boys, I'll tell you one, right? I'll tell you boys what I have. So I was playing with him. It was a big stupid barber. And he tried to say, oh, how do you know your god exists? It's like, suck my balls, mate. I'm, oh. fucking, I'm literally, I'm channeling his divine. Right? <laughs> yeah. So, hold well, on. Leave me, me alone. Let me, let me just heal you here one second. Like, that's touching god. I'm channeling the magic oh. for you. And first of all, you're a stupid barbarian. So that's another... <laughs> oh, don't even get me started on that. Like, keep going, keep going. Let your art atheism chill. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. It's make believe. Your entire arc is also done in the first 10 seconds. You say you don't believe the enemy mages says okay, and then blasts you anyway. Someone who doesn't want to follow the main plot of the campaign and doesn't want to be part of the group. No more obvious way of begging for attention and special snowflake status by having a little bitch scene when folks just want to get to the next town or adventure. My character's a super workaholic who's an architect, an explosive engineer, and stock market broker, and super assassin, and never takes a fucking break. <laughs> <laughs> I notice the more neat qualities. The more they're likely to plot out every second of every day for their character and insist all they do is work and don't need fun at all. And also giving them a bunch of skills and other bullshit that don't even make sense. Slutty bards and dumb barbarians. Yes, uh, I fucking hate both of them. I fucking hate both of them. Are the two I hate the most. The people who play those characters aren't doing it because they like the idea of retard strength warriors or a lecherous musician, but because of the meme. <laughs> not even a good meme. No, it's not. I feel the same way about luchador monks. I'd rather deal with self-inserts and anime girl lolly waifu characters than people making meme characters, because at least these players are doing it because they like it. No, no, hold on. I do enjoy my meme character tonight. Yeah. I do enjoy meme but, like, characters. As long as they're done good. As long as they're good, yeah. Yeah. And they're not overdone. Yeah. You know, as long as they're not overdone, I yeah. don't think it's too bad. Like, an example for me is, one of my um, fighters is, you know, the North FC meme? Oh yeah. Big Baz. Well, yeah, Big Baz. <laughs> I think that's a good meme. Baz, like, you know that is good, him, yeah. Though. We had a guy in our last campaign that sat on his Switch and didn't play until it was his... Uh. <sighs> sat on a Switch and didn't play until it was his turn. And he'd just go, oh, I channel energy and heal people. Uh. Oh, get the uh. fuck. Wait, just, go just go just home. Just go home. Go home. Someone who thinks that just because I'm a cleric, that means I'm an ordained priest or have to listen to the church of the setting. <laughs> my character is a little girl, but actually, no, fuck off, fuck off my game, fuck off my social grips, fuck off my planet. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. fuck off. Oh, sweet. That's just what, fuck off. Like, you know, that, it's pedophilia you with extra steps, yeah. I'm sorry to say. I'm eating a chicken nugget, by the way. Yeah, McDonald's just opened, so it did, so... Uh, I'm eating a nugget. Yeah. <laughs> this shit makes me wish I had the bitch's nails so I would be less angry about it! <laughs> it's one of the shittiest tropes hands down used by lollycons. Pedophiles for the untainted. <laughs> and yeah, it fucking is. Yeah. And gigaweebs who might also be the prior. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking trope causes me to actually want to commit a genocide of epic cosmic proportions. And it's not like you can't have a younger female character as in 19, 20 years old, Max. But these absolute fucking heretical degenerates come into a game with other people with a literal child <laughs> and expect not to be looked at like Jared from Subway <laughs> walking into a fucking preschool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I had a player make not one, not two, but three ah. characters like this, and I literally killed the first two with the wrath of God at character description. I had made a rule and made it clearly known that that trope was not going to fly with me. First one I assumed was a joke, laughed it off. After the second one, 
After the session, he came to me and said that he really wanted to play a little girl character and asked I stopped. I told him the youngest any characters were allowed to be in my game was 19, or otherwise they wouldn't be a part of the party. He said he understood. As we rolled into the next campaign, he made an, and I shit you not, an eight-year-old child barbarian. <laughs> now, I hate the lolly trope a lot, but lollibarian? <laughs> Lolly Berrien is the one that sends me sprinting off to the cliff's edge and swan diving (laughs) off to the side. But I let the character live for four sessions, at which point the party hated it too. (laughs) They then proceed to feed the now level 3 child to an adult blue dragon, and I haven't heard from that player again. (laughs) Too long didn't read. If you play as a child character ages 0 to 17, Unironically, neck yourself because before you come within a fucking solar mile of a child, yes. Yeah, most definitely. And even then, could you imagine, like, even if this was a party, like, what did a party would take, like, even like a 12 year old with I them? I know. You're going off on a dangerous, dangerous fucking quest. I know. Why would you ever bear a child with you? Most of the time, you're fucking going in, like, creepy ass dungeons or fucking going after something uh, else. The, the most I would lie, the most I would lie is maybe. If you've been as like a token style elf and like they, they appear to be like a sexy like that was that was yeah was, that was, was only supposed to be like equivalent of like 18 19 yeah yeah in the i think he was younger than that no he was a was but he was a hundred and something yeah so but, was, I, but, but i like think it was like young, i think he was younger than that he was, was a, he was he was, was a wee bit older than no, we're done again. but you know you can maybe do it like that but then again that sounds like i'm just saying oh they have to look like a child but they're actually like 500 years old oh no don't do that either <laughs> you know what i mean like no that's just as bad if Obnoxiously anachronistic characters of any kind irk me immensely. I can leave historical autism aside when it comes to types of armour and weaponry that wouldn't be together for a couple of centuries, IRL, because it doesn't break the aesthetic and immersion, but whenever I see a luchador or a gunslinger that's literally just a spaghetti western Clint Eastwood knockoff, my blood sugar increases. (laughs) Not even guns and fantasy. Fantasy firearms can be legit in various ways, but literally Clint Eastwood alongside a knight and a wizard drives me up the fucking wall. Yeah. Well, you could, you can still put a Clint Eastwood type into that set. Like, I like to think of it, I think it Argon, depend- Argon, yeah. or Boromir, or someone like that, yeah. you because, know, like, the kind of, like, you know, the frontiersman. Yeah. You know, you can still yeah. pull that off and still do it. Yeah. You know? The I rolled a fuck everything bard. Edge lords. <laughs> George's got their little class. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I'm literally stupider than a dog, barbarians. Dick ass wizards who don't care about anything but par. Yeah, yeah. I'd say they're the over they're they're the ones that everyone I think has came in contact with at least once. Yeah. Everyone's at least met one of them. Yeah. You know. The humble bragger. An allegedly lawful good character with no spine and no capacity to make tough decisions but will gloat about how awesome his last critical hit was, or imagine the enemy being impressed with how quickly he killed them. Example of his brilliance leadership. Tasked with acquiring a magic item from a fey kingdom, kingdom obsessed with evil monsters that comes back every few centuries, prepping for the next time. Humble Bragger is prince of a kingdom that owns a magic sword specifically made for slaying this monster. Refuses point blank to trade sword for magic item. Instead, opts to hand over his country's entire military to the Fey Kingdom for two years. Upon hearing of this, the king says we are never to speak with other royalty on his behalf ever again. If my character hadn't lost their memories of their visit to the Fey Kingdom upon leaving it, she probably would have throttled him for that move, and then used Dominate Person to get him to promise the sword instead. Because holy shit, this is totally going to bite us in the ass later. Yeah. I want to know more about that. I want to know more about that. I, okay, originally, it started off with, yeah, I can kind of, yeah, I've, I've, I've come across maybe the humble gagger type, yeah. you know, you do come across him. What's that meme again? He had my interest. But now you have, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. yeah I want to know more about that one. I want to know more one. about that one. Yeah. Overpowered little girls. The overpowered bit is so the character can do whatever he wants. And the little girl bit is so that he can do whatever he wants without accountability. Yes. Yep. Definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. what it is. Smite bots and other rabid paladins. It's almost always paladins too. It is always paladins. Yeah, it is. Always paladins. I, I know what I'd fall into that I know. Category. Yeah, you fucking do. <laughs> yeah. I've never met a cleric player like that. 
as annoying as don't kill him you'll just be like him stupid god characters are at least they usually don't start shit i guess it's not surprising that the class that's supposed to be a moral and ethical paragon attracts the most obnoxious people well no <laughs> don't blame me well, okay you know this all started... but they no the, but they they do you no, know paladins like, do attract the most obnoxious type look, of people i think pal- paladins are cool right Just going for nugget. look i'll tell you what happened now the reason why this happened to me was because i decided you know what in the west march server we need to cleanse the pagans we need to like you know it's crusades of the north we need to convert them all to Chris- well our version of christianity yeah and i thought you know what fuck this Let's go poison the wells. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking kill them all. Like, okay, it was a good idea, okay? Wipe all the country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we just sped things up so much quicker. But everyone was like, no! <laughs> 1. D&D classes in general. Why the fuck do you ever need to differentiate sorcerers, wizards, warlocks, mages and shit? Why a cleric, regardless of his cult, should be a proficient in fighting and armors? Why rangers exist, etc.? To be fair, it's more about D&D exhaustion. 2. The Lone Wolf. Why would you even make such a character if you're expected to be in a fucking party? Ah, this does my that, head that, in! That, that one, that's the ultimate stereotype of if you have a Lone Wolf. And party, you know what they always, they, what they, what they do? What? what they describe they do just they, no it's, it's either that or it's fucking you know when in Lord of the Rings when the first meet Aragorn and he's in the corner of the bar like yes, that that's yes, exactly yes, that's exactly that, that, uh, so to, to, to Tolkien did first Sam huh? yeah Tolkien did it first <laughs> but he did it well uh-huh. three the contrarian this is a branch of the lone wolf trope we have a party of good line people time to make a chaotic evil monster character are we evil Time for a classic holy paladin then. <laughs> Fuck. The quirky, lovable trickster. One word. Kender. Five. The snowflake. A branch of the contrarian. Has to make a character on whatever race, class, alignment, gender is considered not expected for the setting. As playing an evil monster race as PC, as a troll or a beholder. An I alien one. Lo- I would actually love to play fucking boulder wizard i think that'd be so much fun to make that as a yeah. character an alien one as a gif in the forgotten realms because spell jammer or a plain variation of the standard array as playing as a kender in greyhawk or a red wizard of that in crin six the soulless build yes this is a big one yeah a character built around a shtick without any thought on the background and setting E.g. making a character functionally similar to Spider-Man in Greyhawk just because it sounds cool. Look, okay, I may have wanted to do this once before, right? It was with uh, Smurfy. We were going to make Master Blaster. You know, Master Blaster film. Uh, like, yeah. like, tell me that doesn't sound yeah, cool. Yeah, like it But if it. you it's... actually work it out where people are like, no, I just want to be this. And then yeah. not think about it. I know, I know. But like, Master Blaster was going to be really cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not a character archetype per se, but players who treat combat, exploration, and NPC encounters like a fucking video game. Party alignment, neutral good characters. Out exterminating street bandits. Kill head chief and pack early on by sheer luck. Find remaining two to three goons. My character convinces them to just surrender themselves since everyone else is dead. Pass persuasion check and tie them up. Literally everyone else in the party starts blasting them when they reach me. Bro, that's just how we are, lol. Ugh. This is my third D&D campaign ever and supposedly they've been playing it for years. But I can already tell I'm a way better player than them. Ooh, what is that? Ooh! Ooh! You better be! Any character who's supposed to be a jerk with a heart of gold, but the player always forgets the heart of gold. Yeah, they do. They yeah. really fucking yeah. do. Anytime someone makes a character that's an asshole to the other players, it never comes across as cool. Never, no. ever, no, ever. No. no surrender. It never happened. No. Ever. I've never came across Didn't that. Didn't happen. Slutty bard. This is a recurring theme. Yes, here. it is, because everyone has come across it. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely everyone. Don't make this weird and on. That tavern wench you wanna fuck is my buddy Paul, and he's a fat guy you just met, and who I've known for four years. There's less scenarios where you have to seduce a duchess for information than you'd think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is. Yeah. Academic wizards. 
We honestly need more wizards to be hermits experimenting in the woods and less wizard schools. Being a genuine academic should be on par with being a lesser noble when it comes to how many doors it opens. Yeah, you probably got it. Yeah. Not, you know, I do, I, though I do enjoy the like, hermit type wizards, yeah. you know, I think I'll, yeah. I, I do fall for them. Yeah. But I don't blame people because the problem is wizards work on intelligence. Yeah. Whereas other spellcasters are things, so yeah. of course you're going to be like, oh, like the book smart one. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm skilled. A, a, you know, an academic. Oh. That's kind of the basic go to sort yeah. of thing. So I can't blame people for going no, down I that can't, a lot of no. the time. Lawful over good. Lawful stupid. Yes. Once when we played Out of the Abyss, the dwarf player was chastising us for trying to get out of the deal the Druger forced us under the threat of death. Even if you see lawful as being honest and holding up deals, we're being forced into this by debatably his people's worst enemy. Yeah, that yes. just makes no sense. No, no sense. whatsoever. No sense. <laughs> just because you can be lawful does not mean you don't see the fucking whenever someone's trying to do yeah, you know, something, yeah. you know what I mean? Jesus Christ. Characters raised by a race other than their own. I 100% believe the jungle book for this. Here, like, look. Leave Mowgli out of this. Mowgli was cool though. Mowgli was done well. You Leave Baloo out of this then. Yeah. It just reeks of snowflakes. Just fully commit to the race that you've picked. I see this most commonly with dwarves. So they have an excuse to binge drink and wax poetic about forges and shit. They just cherry pick the aesthetics without considering any of the downsides. I would only accept it if they began to notice the subtle alienation in the community and strike out to find a conclave of their own race. Perhaps if the adoptive community is dwarves or elves, they leave because they don't want their loved ones to see them grow old and die considering their shorter lifespan. So are we all in agreement that um, lolly players suck? Yeah. Yay! Yeah, more than likely the worst. For me, I think the worst, I've, like this is because I've actually came in contact with it, is uh, r slash atheism. Yeah. Ones, oh, stop being many, so fucking edgy! Stop being like, oh, I'm an atheist in a fantasy setting where God's most definitely do exist. I know. It actually makes it you look worse than anything. Yeah, just you know fucking what I mean? stop oh, it. Oh, please, please make it go There's away. No point. Why, why do people have to be edgy for the, just for the point of being edgy? Yeah, just I don't believe in God in a fun set where the gods actually do exist. Uh, you know what I mean? It's like, please, can you actually stop that? But look, you guys, leave your ones down yeah, below. Yeah, write down below on what you hate the most and elaborate on them. Don't just, Don't just like, give me like two sentences like, no, oh, like, lolly's gay. <laughs> to, like, actually write about them yeah, and, and we, we will make a video. Also, tomorrow's video is going to be archetypes that people love. Love, yeah. So, um, so hopefully, you put know, your hate here and then your love in the next video. Yeah, and uh, we'll meet, do your own, your ones next yeah. week. I think that'd be really cool. Yeah. yeah. So, so don't down. forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And check out the models. Check out the models, my channel, all that other shit. And hit the notification button and the second yeah. notification button hit, and hit, the third one. Yeah, hit them all, okay? <laughs> and uh, we'll see you later, okay? Bye. All those moments lost in time.